Hi there, welcome to Dear Cyber Sue Advice Show. Today I want to talk about the five serial texters that are out there. Yes, there's different categories for serial texters. The first one is when you're in a new relationship. They want to have a little bit of mystery when they first meet you. They want to take their time in getting to know you. Yes, we all have our checklist where we want our questions answered really quickly. But the problem with this is it scares people off as fast as it brings them in. So you really want to be careful how often you text somebody when you're first dating them. You can thank them for the date. You can say that we had a really good time. Leave some time between texting. Don't get all freaked out if they don't text you back in the first five minutes and don't get freaked out if they only text you once in the next two days. Take your time in getting to know somebody. Everybody wants instant gratification. They want to know that that person they had the date with is so excited as they are. So they keep texting and bothering them and, and thinking they're saying all these great things, but in reality, it's really turning them off. So when you first date somebody, don't you want them to be excited about seeing you again? If you keep throwing stuff in their face and making it so easy for them and you're doing all the work, you're already setting a precedence of, of the relationship where it's one-sided and you don't want that. If they don't text you back in the next week or acknowledge that you had a really good time with them, there's your answer. You don't need to keep harping on it and come across as a, as a serial stalker, a texter, because that's something that the people are looking out for when they're dating. It's a really big red flag. So hold off if you're that type of person that has to keep texting all the time. Number two, someone who serial texts you but never asks you on a date. Now this is becoming very, very common. This is the kind of person you want to avoid because usually they're more sort of catfishing than they are looking for a date. They're just getting themselves into so many different situations and having fun all by themselves at home by getting people interested in what they have to say in their tax. So it's a no-win situation. If you want to date somebody, don't you want to know if they're interested pretty quickly? Do you really want to spend five months texting somebody back and forth and never meeting them? Anyone can hide behind a text, so why would you get yourself into this situation? If somebody is texting you constantly, that you've met online, or maybe even it's a setup from a friend, but you've never actually met them. But they're just trying to sort of protect themselves, so they keep texting and texting and texting, but never asking you out. Seriously, stop answering them back and go and meet somebody else, because this person is playing you. So don't get caught up in that, that texting game of constantly having to be answering back to somebody that's not even asking you out. It's time consuming, it's not worth it, you need to move on. Number three, there's a serial texter through a long distance relationship dating. So you've got a sort of a long distance relationship going. It's not really established, but it kind of is because you see each other maybe once a month or maybe a couple of times a month. You're planning things with them, but they don't stop texting you because they think that if they keep doing this, they're not going to lose you because the more that you hear from them, the more you will stay interested in them. But this can backfire because if somebody is constantly bombarding you with, with simple texts that really have no meaning, they're just sort of basic, hey, how are you, what's going on? This becomes really boring after a while. But if you're in a long distance relationship, save it up and text them something really beautiful that they can come home to after work and hold off on texting them all day long when they're busy or, they've, or you know they've got things on and save your text for when they have got the time to answer you back and sit there and really appreciate it. Number four, liquid courage drunk texting. Now I think we've all woken up one day and said to ourselves, oh my God, who did I text? What did I do? Did I text them that? You go and you look into your, your you know, the, the latest text of, in your uh, on your phone and you say to yourself oh my god I can't believe I did that half the time you don't even remember you text somebody and somebody will say something and then you go and look and oh my god I actually did do this I text them when I was drunk and I was really forward do not pick up your phone to either call somebody or text somebody if you've been drinking 
Even if you're in an established relationship sometimes and you do this, it's not really attractive. And they can also make them question, like, how much does this person drink? And why do they say these things only when they drink? What does this mean? Is this who they really are? And number five, serial text stalking your ex. Yeah, people do this. And it's scary. And it's really hard when you've been hurt and you've been rejected from somebody that you really love. And they're moving on and you're stuck. You're in this place of just like, oh my God, well, I'll just send them a little text and remind them that I'm here. Or maybe if I text them a little bit here and there throughout the day, it'll make them miss me. It doesn't make them miss you. What it does is make them wonder why they were there for so long sometimes. If you're constantly hitting them up with these, these texts all day long. Slow up your texting with them, stop it all together. And then maybe if you're having a hard time down the road, contact them at a later date and ask them if they can just give you a bit of clarity and closure so that you can move on and not feel trapped in this place that you've allowed yourself to be now because you're not understanding the reason you broke up. Anyway, there we go. There's the five serial texting situations that you should never allow yourself to be in. I hope that helps. Thanks everyone for listening to Dear Cyber C today. Please leave your comments under the video and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you all. Thanks so much. Bye.